Ajax are in trouble, and they most definitely need a rebuild. However, it isn't going to be me that's going to be rebuilding them today. It's going to be this man doing it instead. My dad. Dad, your first rebuilds here. Yeah, look, well, it took me a long time to do it, but we got there in the end. We did indeed. <laughs> uh, we said we're going to do different types of rebuilds this year, now that Dad has access to the real game for his new laptop. So we're going to do that. And Dad's done his own rebuild off his own back. I had no input, no help whatsoever. Let's take a look, because he's already made some very Dad-like signings. And honestly, the second player is the most Omega Dad signing you'll ever see in your freaking life. <laughs> It's unbelievable. I can't say no more than that, can I? Of course, though. It started off, he sold yeah. the goalkeeper, well, um, but you had good reason to. Yeah, Your goalkeeper's the, injured. The main goalkeeper, which was a good goalkeeper, is injured for, I think, six months or something like yeah. that. So I had to go out. First thing I could see, it, I had to go out and buy myself a good, good goalkeeper. So this is the guy I found. Yeah. Lucas Parry. Yeah, I was quite happy with him. I thought he was a good keeper, you know, and I thought then I've got two really good goalkeepers in the squad then. That's all. Yeah, I'll probably leave them alone, but I know you're yeah. going to laugh at that because I never take, but I'm going to leave them alone then. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, 7.5 million pound, that's a good price, so he's kept yeah. two, two clean sheets for you already. So yeah. I didn't have a big transfer window neither, so I'll... It does mean that you can see a three in one yeah. game, but we'll soon find out. How the, main, the main thing I could see, I mean, we all know now that Ajax is, is um, really struggling. They're bottom of the league now as we talk now. We've yeah. only got five points, I think it is. They've got two games in Anna teams above them but the main thing I could see that was going on there was they had sold all their good players which was just a known fact but they got all youngsters and they yeah. were just they are struggling because of that so yeah. I thought right first thing I'm going to do which usually goes against what I normally do is I'm just going to sign well experienced players whether they're 30 31 32 anything like that I'm just going to get these well experienced players in that I could afford to try and give the team a bit of experience in there in certain positions and then work off that and then I'll start replacing the players, obviously, when they get to a stage where they're going out with the walking sticks and have to come back off again. 32. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Lucas Perry's first signing. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm all in board with that one. That's a great signing, if you ask me, for a good price as well. He's only 25 too. So if you didn't sell him, you would be there for all the Patreon members yeah. at the end, all the channel members. I remember on the five pound tier, you get the save game file. You can carry on Dad's rebuild. Yeah, take uh, it on. So Let me go. know you get on. Uh, you might not want to, uh, if the build's a terrible <laughs> team for you. Or you might not be able to because he's been sacked. We'll soon find out. But this is the second player is the most Omega Dad signing you'll ever see in your life. It's Yen Stage. <laughs> £6.7 million. My dad said to me, you wait till you see this player. <laughs> what a... What a squad player this guy is, isn't he, eh? He plays in every <laughs> single position of letting go. Mate, you've got to add squad players in your team. Every single position. This is the best squad player I've ever found on <laughs> FM, I think. <laughs> if oh I get an God. injury anywhere, this guy's in. <laughs> he would be your best mate, wouldn't he? Well, definitely, because I'll be picking the team on a, on a Saturday morning and I'm going, right, is everybody fit? <laughs> yeah, right. You can play in that position today, then. <laughs> you're injured, up. Oh, you know, you're playing in that position today. Oh, Jens, Jens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just job, do a job for me today, mate. You know when, like, a, a, there's a teacher's pet? Yeah. You'd be the opposite with this guy, wouldn't you? You'd be bringing him at that point oh, every day. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah. I've got to look after this guy. You all right? You good? I mean, come on. He's only 26 as well. I'm going to have him for the whole five years, isn't I? Really? What I love about <laughs> it as well is he even has attributes that dad loves. He has the work rate, the teamwork, the aggression, aggression yeah. natural fitness of 14. That, that's the one thing I'm like, oh, I'm surprised you went for him. Well. <laughs> but, all jokes aside, I quite like the signing, though. It's cheap, isn't it, for a squad player like yeah. that, though, isn't it? 6.75 billion pound from Werder Bremen. Two games, 8.4 average rating. What can I say? What position did he play, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely superb. We are actually going to do a video soon, by the way. We're giving Dad a little bit of time to come up with his players, but Dad's best squad players. So where I usually give you a list of all the best bargains or whatever, which hasn't really gone down well on YouTube this year, Dad's going to do a list. So hopefully you watch that one instead because you could have an, an unbelievable players like Yen Stage there, 26 years of age, who plays in every single bloody position other than in goal. It wouldn't surprise me if you did put them in there. Outside of that, you got some free transfers coming in here, yeah. Dad. Four of them off yeah. the back of that it tells me and they're all signed on the same day yeah that you were like oh i wonder who was on the free market <laughs> yeah, i did and yeah just went through every single day yeah good signings though i mean like, like i was saying you earlier 32 years of age but i needed i needed a strength of my midfield up so this is one of the guys i went for love the aggression 16 so there you go yeah anis badgery was another yeah. one another 32 year old but good squad player again <laughs> 
I can play them on both sides, see? That's what I'm looking at. If I have weaknesses on either side, this guy's in. All right. So there's another one. Cheap wages. That's what I'll give you. He's yeah. cheap wages. So he's not going to cost you too much. Uh, then we've got Gambin, who is... Or Gambin, I remember, yeah. playing for De Everton. Defensive midfielder. Yeah. Good natural fitness. Yeah. He's actually quite a good signing, to be fair. I like that one from Everton. So I've, I've strengthened me midfield up now. There's a couple of players I've got there for the midfield. Yeah. And Regina, yeah. who I think one of us signed in the Dutch rebuild last time. Yeah. When we did the versus yeah. rebuild. Uh, not yeah. as good as what he was on that game, but he's still no. a decent... Like, Still, still for what I need, it was ideal. Yeah. I just wanted a bit of experience in there, someone you can rely on, and the players can work around him. He's 32, so you've got to do a bit of work for him. But I mean, his natural fitness was only 11, so yeah, I'm not expecting. I'm not expecting him to last too long. But this season, I, I, he could do me a job. Yeah. So uh, anybody who's taken over the save after, you won't see any of these players. No. That's for sure. <laughs> then you got a little bit more serious. You started spending a bit, bit more money. Is that because you sold anybody? Did you sell anyone here? You didn't actually sell anyone here, did you? No. Okay. So uh, Fabian Balboa from Dinamo in yeah. Moscow uh, centre back good centre back to be fair just yeah. maybe lacks a little bit of pace yeah. maybe his own downfall I mean he's another 32 year old though so he's going to lack a bit of pace though isn't he yeah. so, but I just needed another hold head in that position type of thing really I mean look at his marking and his tackling that's what I, and heading you know he's going to be sat in that one position just clearing up for me yeah really and if he's injured Jens is there yes right uh, striker <laughs> you needed a striker you said yeah. to me I think I actually need a striker to start definitely with. yeah this is the guy you went for Michael yeah. Gregorich I, I was quite pleased to get this guy really I mean alright he was 29 but um, his potentials is quite good as well I thought really his heading his first touch and his finishing is all there in it yeah so yeah I mean, you like a big boy up top don't you? Yeah, Six I do, foot yeah. four, good yeah. jump and reach bravery and heading he, yeah. has, he has got that 4.8 million pounds got two goals for you already yeah not good. bad not bad start yeah yeah I like that and then finally Maxine Golalons I yeah. remember this guy being very good back in the day he's 34 now but he's still playing good natural fitness so yeah. he's still got a year or two left in him could see at the end yeah I mean he's got everything there I mean his mentals is quite good as well really yeah. in there so absolutely for a, you know, for a player that age, I was quite happy with I that. It, like, it had everything he had, I needed there. Yeah, I always like a good CDM that has height and heading ability. Yeah. And he's got good jump reach too. For, I mean, it, it's less so now, but back in the day when your keeper used to boot long. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought having a good CDM who's good in the air was always really good. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, history, you bought him for £1.3 million, pound, which means that's a very good price yeah. from Claremont Foot. Uh, so even if, you know, he only lasts a couple of seasons and he gets the job done in one season that's, or whatever. That's all I need, really. Yeah. Just one or two seasons out of all those old boys I've got there and I'll be happy with that. What's your tactic then? I don't know nothing, by the way, so <laughs> I'm very new to this. All right, okay, so 4-3-3 three, three with an off set striker yeah. the DLF are you not you are learning aren't you like <laughs> I know people keep on going in the versus rebuilding he's getting better and better but I mean this is advanced stuff guys like balanced mentality alright okay what's your uh, what's your thoughts with this all my strong players in the, in the centre of the midfield there so I've got them already in there yeah I've got two good strikers there, I thought, really, with my new striker, and I already had that Probably. guy already in there. I mean, he's not bad, luck, really. He's good, yeah. Yeah. So I thought, well, I've got two good strikers, and he's young as well. So I thought, well, I've got to get them up. So I had to come up with something that was going to get them into, into yeah. there. And, um, oh, Stevie here on the left winger. Like, he's, Stevie he, Pan, yeah. He's only, how old is he? 25. He was their most, most experienced player that yeah. they've got there now yeah so i had to kill to keep him in the side as well i mean he's a good squad player as well really. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he anywhere, was he? but he was always going to be in my team because he was the most experienced player that they've got at this present moment so yeah. i just thought with him out on the wing as well coming in like that I, I, I was quite happy with this team actually i thought okay Defensively, from, what, from what i had a very young side but i yeah. know all of these are very good yeah uh shatalo is a new signing for them he's fantastic yeah he's, he's signed a, him a few times yeah we? we have yeah he's good i was quite pleased to see him there yeah hatter was quite a new player on yeah. the game but he's, he's only 17 he's 17 phenomenal. for 17 I thought wow look at this player this yeah. is going to be this is going to be one of the future players for Ajax yeah. I think and he plays both centre back and left back yeah. Bernal Sosa is decent as well very good crossing ability so I like that and Devin Wrench is one of those players again that I knew you would like because he plays in about 45 different <laughs> positions <laughs> it also says that he has played up front there was that you did you accidentally stick him up there or something I might have done for Possibly, in a friendly yes. <laughs> yeah and, and obviously their midfield is pretty much brand new other than Kenneth Taylor who yeah. I think is going into the first team for the first and time this I season. I think, to be honest with you, that Kenneth Taylor is probably one of the best players they've got there at this present moment as yeah. well. So, and being 21, that's how I do. I mean, Ajax do buy young players. Yes. And, yeah. I, and I must admit, through the through the rebuild, I did have that in mind where I was going to be trying to buy... Like the Ajax way. Yeah, young players rather than an older player. Yeah, because like, it's probably in their club vision too. It, so it probably you, would be, yeah. If you didn't do that, they would probably be a bit like, mm, yeah. why aren't you doing this? Yeah, so. so. All right, I can see where like you've, you've designed a tactic and like because you're quite new, 
do at it. The back four is just full back support, centre back defence, centre back defence, <laughs> goalkeeper defence. Like a bit more advanced person maybe would have gone sweeper keeper, ball playing defender. Yeah. But you know, all right, okay. I am I am starting to do that now. But yeah. this this particular season was my first season at yeah. doing it, wasn't it? And I mean, maybe I was just trying to get it get get the season going really. Yeah. So let's have a look. And schedule wise, all right. So a couple of friendlies and then three nil three nil win to start off with. Good start. Yeah. I thought you played Heracles three times then because you have a very similar badge. Yeah. I was like, why have you played? It's nice, Lugano. Excelsior 1-0 win. Defeated Lugano, so you're in the Europa League. Yeah, you're in the group stage. 3-3. Brian Brobby getting uh, a hat-trick there. That's a good start. Oh, off with. Good player. This is a bit disappointing. Yeah. That's a bad 186th minute where they pitched it then after yeah. you were behind as well twice and you come back. 3-2 against Fortuna Sittard. But... So really, I've got, to, I've got to look at that as a point gain, really, because I was behind when oh, I... Oh, that's two points lost. Like, yeah. All right, well. because you were uh, in the lead <laughs> in the 86th minute. That's a point loss. I'm going to take that for a start, though, considering yeah. it was, you know, they're all new players in there. I mean, you're safe, so you're better off than what they're doing right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's yeah. for sure. Uh, let's have a look at your group then, your Europa League group. I could just do it this way, can't I? Rens, Genk, Savet. I really hope you beat Rens because I don't like them. Um, <laughs> but Savet and Genk should go through. I would like to think that I would go through, but league is more important for me this season, I think. Yeah, okay. Get back in the Champions League. That's yeah. what you're thinking. Yeah. All right. I like this start. I like this start. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm pleased you didn't let me down. No. I thought, please don't just have an absolute <laughs> stinker season one. I mean, you, you lived up to your uh, squad player there you prowess go. with yeah. that guy. That's unbelievable. <laughs> okay. First season, let's simulate it and see how dad does. First season champions! How about that, boy, eh? How about champions! That? All right. Nice one, Dad. Look at, look at my... <laughs> and you stayed up there pretty much all season. A little yeah. bit of a dip there, but then you carried on. That's like, you know, less than two-thirds away. So, yeah. And Greg Rich, 21 goals. Good signing, isn't it? Good signing. All right. I'm pleased. Three losses. Pexwall, AZ, LEC. And those losses, you're like... Should it be losing them? No, it Only 1 0 as well. Yeah. All the way from I home. was a bit disappointed, really, to be yeah. honest with that. None of the top teams are there, really. Yeah. I mean, your PSVs and all that. You I wait was... till he changes the tactics season two, <laughs> and I'm going to absolutely murder him for it. 83 <laughs> points. He won it by eight points quite comfortably. You probably won it a few season, well, a few uh, games before the end of the season, which means that's probably the reason why you might have drawn a game there. Scored second highest in the season, but you conceded the least. Really good. Uh, profile. No goal scorers up there. Joey Veerman is top scorer. He's a midfielder. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Santiago Jimenez, I thought, would have been up there. He's going to be your biggest crux, I think, in this, because unless he makes a move, final become unbelievable underneath him. He is amazing, so unless you buy him. <laughs> I was going to say, you never know. I'm only just <laughs> yeah. bought him. <laughs> uh, Brian Brobby did get 15 assists, which is quite good for a striker, considering, yeah. obviously, he was up there. And Lucas Perry, the most clean sheets. That was a good signing for you. Yeah. So it looks like Geronimo Rulli, who would have come back from injury around about November, December time, didn't go back into no. the team. Now there is cup competitions, obviously you're in the Europa League, the Dutch Cup as well. No. Semi-final by Utrecht. I know. Ooh. I was so disappointed. When I seen I was in a semi-final, I thought, yes, come on. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. That is a shame. You would have gone on, oh my god, PSV in final, 5-0. So top three teams were there, weren't they? Yeah, did final win it? They did 2-0. That would have yeah. been a, and that's obviously the biggest rivalry in, in the Netherlands, is yeah. that final versus PSV. Yeah. Alright, that's a shame. On penalties as well, 0-0. They held you to a 0-0. That's a shame. In the Europa League, Real Madrid knocked you out. Oh, that's right. that's unfortunate. That's what I thought. Yeah. Come on. I mean, you did. When do Real Madrid play? When do they play? On penalties again. I oh, know. When do they play in the Europa League? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Jude the... Bellingham's like, why am I here? <laughs> and I was going, to... Jude, do you want to sign for me? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hell of a squad player. Yeah. Do you want to meet Lens? <laughs> okay, so in your group stage, then, how did you get on in here? Oh, Renz. Oh, come on. Uh. Oh my god, they destroyed they that. They it, didn't they? Yeah. Only five. You were lucky. I was lucky to go through, through really. Everybody went through. You went through on a minus goal difference. Only won one game. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that, Genk? <laughs> Drew two against Genk and Savet. You lost to Savet. Bloody hell. Yeah, yeah, Rens absolutely destroyed people. Yeah. They only conceded one goal against you. I'm That's not surprised, seeing you know, how well I've done in the league that I didn't do a little bit better than that. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, I got knocked out by Real Madrid, so but it didn't make any difference. Yeah, that's really, just real so. lucky. Because if yeah. you look at the other teams in here, you know, you could have faced Rangers, yeah. Marseille, Sociedad, you would have had Salzburg, a bit more of a chance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even Lons. But yeah, you're a bit unlucky there, to be fair. The finalists went 
Oh, Liverpool was in it too. Uh, and Roma, of course, so. and Roma. So, but yeah, that's the shame. You had a you had a good season. There Mate, that's a good start. Results. I'm happy with that two first season. Two penalty results. Two yeah. penalty knockouts. Yeah. Too. You won like Real Madrid battered you. No. Goals wise, then Gregorich got you 21. That's a good start. 14 for Steven. That's that's nice. Yeah. Uh, and 12 and 19 assists from Brian Brobby. So that's fantastic yeah, for him. Yeah. He's really good. Van den Boomen, he's a new signing too. I recognise him. You guys who watch the channel for a long time might as well because he played for Toulouse. Uh, of course, who I did the youth to goal with last season. But he's played for Ajax as well. Outside of that, Kenneth Taylor, what I would say though, all of these players down here are the ones that you did sign. I mean, Rachina, no games. Stephen yeah. Johansson, no game. Yeah. But Lucas Perry got all 48 games of the season there. Yeah. So, I mean, I brought him in for a bit of it, you know, just to... If I needed them, they were there if I needed them. Yeah. So I, I thought I would have used them more, but obviously I didn't, so... Yeah, everybody wants to know, though. Yeah. Jens only started six. Yeah. 20 appearances off the bench. He's not a master of one, is he? <laughs> and he's unhappy. <gasps> oh, he's going to be, isn't he? He's oh, not going to get game starts, is he? No, wants to start new games. <laughs> I'll have to bring two apples in now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, transfer budget for next season, 17 million. I was happy with that. I can't expect big budgets for teams like this in this league, I don't think. They rely mainly on selling players and also coming through their academy, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. So, You've got a very good academy. Yeah. Okay, season two then. Let's see what he does. Right, second season then. Your yep. first signing was Alex Kral. Yeah. I've noticed, I always recognise this guy because I think his name's cool and he's got like big funky hair. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I remember him when he played in the World Cup. But, again... Squad player. Yeah, a bit, bit, of, a, bit of a squad player, but midfield again. I'm trying to strengthen my midfield up a bit more, so I just thought, yep, yeah, he'd do for me. Okay, he yeah. is a free transfer as well, so not a bad signing. Another reason why I took him. Yeah. <laughs> I like my freebies. Chiquinho is another one. Yeah. Uh, another freebie. Yeah. Very good centre midfielder. I feel like you're buying too many centre midfielders at this point. I think what it was, it was just because they were free, and I thought, let's get less late. I looked at what, same as what you did at the end of the season. I had the 33 year olds, 34 year olds that didn't play. Yeah. So I'm thinking, well, how much longer are they going to last? So I'm just going to get a few in to replace them, really. This is what I was mainly doing. They were free transfers, and I thought, well, let's get them in before they retire. Yeah. I mean, he's still got a good age, 29. Maybe if you made a profit on him next yeah. season. So, yeah, that's not bad. For a good first touch passing technique. It's more of a creative midfielder yeah. uh, with some good player traits. All right. Then you spend a little bit of money. Let's take a look. Sebastian Baselli. Yeah. Now, I'm guessing somebody's been watching people's Wonder Kid videos because he is one. Me? Would I watch videos? <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit to this, I did watch a video on this particular person from someone. I looked at it, I thought, hey, right back, I'm, I'm, I'm weak on my right back side. Oh, I'm fuming with you because I've done a video on Baselli, so you've been watching other people's videos, have <laughs> you? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't name the All person. Right. Uh, Sebastian Baselli, <laughs> good signing, 21 years of age. Yeah. Okay. I'll I mean, 20, that, yeah. 21 for that money, and look how he, he's good, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, so, he's fantastic. Yeah. And £8.5 million pound for Fagundo Torres as your final signing this summer. Yeah. Really good midfielder, this one. Attacking midfielder, yeah. creative guy. I like this signing a lot. It all talks for itself, really, doesn't it? I mean, I needed... What's he got? Steve, Steve uh, Bur Burbine. 32, is he? 32, 33? No, he's only... 26, 27. Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah. I can't remember who I'm thinking of. He wasn't very happy. He no. kept on coming up and saying, I'm not happy. And, you know, and the, some of the, a lot of the players were saying, we're, you know, we're not happy with the treatment that you're handing. And I'm thinking, I played him. So what have I done to upset him? So I thought, right, let's think crafty with this. Let's get a player in that can play in the same position and then see what happens when I've got a, when he's got to fight for his position. So that was the reason why there I signed is. this player. All right, the Uruguayan comes in, 25 yeah. years of age. Great player. Now, on the outs, you accumulated £18 million worth, but the main crux of that came from Chupa Akpom, who yeah. sold for £10 million to Al Shabab. I thought, I'm quite surprised because I thought you would have seen his pace and finishing and thought he's my striker. Yeah. But because you had Greg Richards that the reason why you let him go yeah definitely yeah i had two good strikers up there already so i was quite happy to you let us see the money didn't i you? was i needed a bit of money yeah yeah i thought so <laughs> okay let's take a look at your tactic then not changing it why would I? I've just won the league. Yeah, makes a change, doesn't <laughs> it? You're I looked, finally learning. I looked at it and I thought, shall I or shan't I? And I thought, I'd get crucified, wouldn't I? For my own, my first, yes, my first challenge that I've done myself. If I changed, if I changed my tactic after winning the league, no, nah, it won't gonna happen, mate. I, I didn't even look at. It was just a no-no. I'm not doing it. I'll carry on as I am. All right, okay. Let's simulate <laughs> I'm, I'm the open, second season. I've, then. In, I've improved a couple of players, so I'm hoping that I, sh I, I should be there or thereabouts again. All right, happy days. Let's see if you can retain your lead title and simulate the second season. Second season. Oh, knocked off the top on the 
final day. By a point. Oh, that is heartbreaking. I mean, you you got to look at Feyenoord when he lost one game. And it wasn't against you either, Van Dam. No. Away from home. You already lost two. Yeah. To only lose to it, one against them, which yeah. is annoying. That, I mean, that one game I lost against them cost me the league. But the one at the end of the season cost you the well, league. Well, yeah, it did. But you, you could say if I drew or, or or beat Feyenoord that time, that's a points difference either yeah, way, isn't yeah. it? So I would have won the league if I didn't lose that game. Oh, that is heartbreaking. I was disappointed, but like you said at the beginning of the, of the um, video, Feyenoord are going to be the team to beat. They've got some good players in there. Yeah. And that just proves that they lost one game in the whole season. I think I've done brilliant to only lose two games. I agree. Uh, and there's Jimenez, 24 goals yeah, this season. See? Uh, you actually had a player there, though. Bergas is up there. 20 goals. Brian Brobby got a 7.3. So you're signing work, look, because yeah. he booked his ideas up. <laughs> <laughs> he actually worked. Uh, and Brian Brobby also had the highest, well, second highest amount of assists. But maybe it was the clean sheets because uh, Timon Velenruther, who I think is starts off as a backup goalkeeper because they have a different goalkeeper at the beginning, yeah. got the most clean sheets there. As did Asmir Begovic at the test. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Lucas Perry with 15. So he's still getting a lot of clean sheets, don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah. But lost any title. How did you do in the Cups? Yes, you won a Cup. Not that the Champions League league phase, but you won the bloody Cup. Yep. Groningen in the final. Yeah, you're 2-0 up. Yeah. Went to 2-1, you just held on. Nice, all right. So, did you knock out, who did you knock out? Heron Vien. Oh, so all of the big boys were knocked out early. You knocked out PSV, which is good. Yeah. The final were knocked out by Heron Vien. So, yeah, in the semi-final, you had uh, Heron Vien, and then the final knocked out. Well, beat Groningen in the final. Well done. Not so you still have a trophy each season yeah. so far. Won the league, won the yeah. cup. Uh, let's have a look at your Champions League league phase then. So that was yeah. poor. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I was always going to struggle in the Champions League, I think. So who do I have to... I mean, Celtic, Chelsea, Galatasaray, Juventus. Should be beating Barcelona. Red Star and Celtic. Yeah, I mean... Maybe even Galatasaray. But look at the other teams there. I was never... never. I was always going to struggle, wasn't I? Yeah, but I mean, losing 6-2 to Benfica, you should be losing by that much. They're yeah, already there. They're already there. They're already there. That's... that's <laughs> possibly a task for next season because I think yeah. league you're just really unlucky yeah. you just come up against you know another elite team and just lost it on the final day but you're on the cup so yeah I think Champions League is I mean, really the good, good thing is I'm, I'm still in the Champions League I think yeah. so um I'm happy with that. Okay, uh, your squad then. Let's have a look. So 23 goals for Berghaus. I'm quite surprised by that because oh, he played more as a striker. So tactically, you're, yeah, you're best 11. Berghaus started up front the yeah. most times instead of Gregorich, which he's not the best striker. No, I was surprised with that, to be honest with you. So might be something that you have to address next yeah. season. Yeah, I, I think maybe that's that's your weakest point right now defensively <laughs> in midfield I think you're solid and every, every, everyone well, else is going I've only right. lost two games so yeah. it's just in Europe I'm, I'm, when I come up against the, the elite of the elite then I am in trouble yeah. so. I just know what you like I just know you're bound to change your tactic <laughs> in the third season <laughs> transfer budget you've got £11 million pounds, which right. is not a lot no. so I'll let them Season number three, did you bring in? Dad managed to accumulate £110 million in transfers with £103 million pound for Lucas Perry to told buy you, Munich. Told you it was a good signing, didn't I? <laughs> you only signed for like seven. You got a hundred and three million. They approached me at the beginning of the, of the second season, and, and um, I'm not selling my keeper. I'm not selling my keeper. Then all of a sudden, it just kept on coming up. They offered me this, offered me that, and I'm, I kept on just saying no, no, no. And then all of a sudden, it went bang, hundred and three million. I thought, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a quality keeper. You can he see is, how much like he's developed just in the short time that you've had him. I was sat there thinking, would I actually refuse this money? No, they wouldn't. No, <laughs> no, no, no. chance. <laughs> for someone they paid £7 million for. There's no way I was going to turn that down. I, no. It just helped me out so much, really. Yeah. And and as far as I was concerned, I, I had a reserve keeper there that could, you know, oh, I've got to buy another cool keeper. But That's I could your favourite thing to do. Yeah, I could, I could afford to buy a lesser better keeper than what I already had, or do I go fall out and buy a better keeper than what I got? So, but, 103 million, mate. Come on. <laughs> That's outrageous. So, there's one guy that, if you on your first season, you got to go out and buy him because the chances are someone's going to come knocking for him. But he wasn't the only one who left. And our thoughts go out to Jens. <laughs> he won't happy. He's gone. He won't happy. <laughs> He's gone. To, I mean, good for him. He's gone to, to Copenhagen, the best yeah. team in Denmark. So, um, the squad player, Jens. Yeah. It, it, it took me a while to say goodbye. I mean, <laughs> at this stage of his career, he needed first thing football. Yeah, that, that, that was the thing, wasn't it? Yeah, stage, this stage of his oh, career. Oh, God, I missed that one, didn't I? 
You're welcome for that one. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the players you brought in, though. First off, you brought in Mika Marmol, uh, really good Spanish centre back or left back, Dad. Yeah, and he looks uh, fantastic too. I was going for a, a left back or centre back, like you say, but um, young lad as well. That's what I thought. Yeah. So I started looking like the Ajax way, and I thought, well, he's a good player, and he, he you know, was let's just bring him for 10 in. Ten million pounds as that, well. At that age, at, at that age, for ten million. With those credentials already, can't go wrong with that, can you? Absolutely, good start. £16 million on Jonas Wind. I said I thought, you needed a striker. I thought this was a good sign for me, to be honest with you. When I seen this guy was available, I snapped him up, really. I mean, he lacks a little bit of pace, but yeah. elsewhere he is decent. He's, yeah. he's six foot three with good jump and reach, so I know how much you like that kind of big, tall, yeah. meaty striker. The only thing I wasn't happy with this guy was his aggression wasn't very good, but... <laughs> I thought, well, come on, bring him in. He looks too nice to be aggressive. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't he? Now, not your first team goalkeeper, because you spent more on another goalkeeper, but £8 million went on Elia Capriel, yeah. who is a good goalkeeper. He is a good goalkeeper, yeah. I think I, 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 I might have bought this keeper before I bought my, my next one, really, but um, I was obviously in the market for keepers, so I've seen this guy, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to take this one. He's a good start. He's yeah. a good, like... 24-year-old 20, again, so he's one for the future. Yeah, he's a good backup. Yeah. But who is he back up to? To the £14 million sign-in. Arrest us. 21. Yeah. So what can I say for uh, for Ajax? There you go. There's a young players I'm bringing in for you. A young goalkeeper that's going to be here for seasons now. Yeah, he is good. Yeah. Uh, he is probably one of the best wonder kid goalkeepers on the game. Somebody, again, has been watching a lot of videos probably. 6-2. Left footed. Very, very unusual to have a left footed goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's the main crux of your money. But you did spend a little bit more. So yeah. let's take a look at your final signing. £25 million on a player from Sunderland. Yeah. Abdullah Bar. Only 22 again. So another young lad coming in. I was quite happy with this play, to be honest with you. I'm unsure about this yeah. signing. I am unsure about it. <laughs> but I'm here to be proven wrong. Squad player again, though. <laughs> that doesn't mean you go splash 25 million on I know that, yeah. I think, did I sign this guy on the last day? Of the, of the, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. And I think it was on transfer day. I think I was going through the transfers, and I think I had that money left in me kitty, and I just thought, I'm going to buy someone, and up, this guy popped, and I thought... Well, that's he's burning a hole in your pocket when that's what it, he was doing. Uh, yeah, it was, honestly, yeah. It was 22. He's only 22, and I thought, well, he, he plays in a couple of positions. It was last day, and I thought, I'm just going to buy him. Let's have a look, and did he change his tactic or not? Dad, you changed your tactic. Yeah, I did, yeah. Why did you change the tactic? You were so close to winning the league. You won a cup. It was just the Champions League that you needed to fix. I bought a couple of more play attacking players, didn't I? So I wanted to make myself a little bit more attacking. I took one out of the midfield and put him up under the wings. And I'm going down through the wings now. I've moved them around You're a bit. You've been so... experimental at the back. I'll give yeah, you that. I was say, I've moved them around a bit. So you can see I did start playing around with the, um, the old tactics. Uh, libero and an inverted wing back. That means... <laughs> <laughs> that means if the libero goes forward, the inverted wing back comes across. No, that's inverted full back. Oh, is it? All <laughs> oh, right, so I got that a bit wrong then. <laughs> so the inverted wing back also goes forward. Right. And then you've got a complete wing back on attack there. So your only real defensive player <laughs> is that poor lad who's going to be sat in this for a year. <laughs> well, I'm still learning then, and I. <laughs> Flash you for trying though. Yeah. Being a bit more experimental because that was my one thing when I looked at your first season tactic. That back line was just like as if it had been imported in and yeah. like, I think that's all right. <laughs> but okay, let's simulate this third season then and see how you get on. We've got Champions League football. Let's see if you can retain the cup and most importantly, try and get that lead title back our final. I think I'm going to be conceding goals down the right hand side then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Season number three, and you're still behind final. But I must admit, after seeing that tactic, you're a lot higher up than what I thought you'd be. <laughs> oh, I'm pleased that now. Now I know what I know. I'm pleased with that yeah. now. Yeah, I mean they dominated, didn't they? You, yeah. You were struggling. You were second from match was consistent. eight. It was consistent. I was there uh, all the time. So. And again, they only lost two games. Yeah. Like they are unbelievable on this game. It's very. Have you beat them once? You beat them once at home. Didn't they lose to Volendam the last time? That yeah. must be like a bulky team. I yeah. think it was them that they beat them last time. And you only drew the same amount. It's just those. You know, you lost three what? instead of the the two that they did they yeah. beat you at home unfortunately for you but you were clear of third place so you've got Champions League football next season looks like PSV are struggling to keep up with you but you're struggling to keep up with final they yeah. are just very good right yeah. now uh, is it still Arnslot? yeah he's, I think he's a quality manager by the way in real life mm. really like Arnslot. the football that they're playing in the, th in the few games that I've watched have been absolutely spectacular yeah. so I think it, it, it resonates with that on the game too no goal goal scorer from final though Jonas Wynn did get 20 so that's a good sign for you yeah I'm happy with that it's only Nikolai Sku who got more uh, from Heron VM, which 
It's very unlikely. Yeah, and yeah. he's actually leaving already. Already, he's going to uh, Tel Aviv. So their players, average ratings. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Shaquille Van Persie's there. Yeah, Robin's kid. But they they were keeping clean sheets for fun by the looks of it, which you weren't. No. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, how many clean sheets did? I mean, Restas is up there. Ten clean sheets. Yeah. In twenty nine games, you had a lot more in previous seasons, but there's. There's probably a reason why there's a... I wonder what that is. But to be fair, performance-wise, you have actually done all right. So domestically, I don't know. It might be paying off for you doing this. Yeah. Competitions. Oh, quarter-final by Heron Vien. Not down the league phase, though. Yeah, I know, yeah. Not down in that league phase. Just. Just. Well, you won three games this time, right? Yeah, I'm getting better. Porto, Ludogrets, and Celtic lost five, nine points. Just unfortunate there. They had better goal difference. Yeah. That knocked you out of the Champions League. Quarter-final of the cup. Heron Vien, 3-2. Yeah, disappointed with that. Final get domestic double, they did. Yeah. Ooh, first season without a trophy. The pressure's on. <laughs> Squad wise, 24 goals from Jonas Wind. That's good. Vanden Boomen is absolutely booming. Yeah. 17 goals and 11 assists from midfield. Bergvine's got a good amount as well. We're going to Torres playing 11. So this is your best 11, I think. We pick that restriction. Best 11. Yeah. Uh, Vanden Boomen and Taylor's in there. So we've got Marmon and Chitalo's playing that. Uh, Libero or Baselli is quite good going forward so it's not the end of the world having no. that happen because he could be a good thorn to your op opposition's defence really because he, he, he seeks out role quite well. Have a player at the right wing look? Bars out there what did he do? Yeah I'll, I'll criticise this signing <laughs> let's see what he did. Seven goals six assists I mean it's not amazing but it's not bad. For a last ditch signing yeah it was alright wasn't it? At the start of the season as well he did get five assists for yeah. Sunderland in five games but that was a lot of money to spend on a championship player. Yeah. Alright his value is you know the same amount yeah. you might be able to sell him up for the same price. Uh, <laughs> how much money have you got though that's the question. 19 million again it's very much consistent. It's about, yeah it's about the same all the time isn't it yeah. Uh, is it your, your balance is alright there's no debts or loans or anything so yeah it's just I think if you're getting further in the Champions League they give you more money yeah. because of that but right now that's what they're struggling with. Okay, fourth season then. Let's have a look at your transfers. Start off, Dad. You got a lot of money in the door. Yeah. Thirty-eight million pound first off. I didn't. I didn't really want to sign. I didn't really want to sell him, but he just kept on coming up. He was unhappy and he wanted to go and he wanted to go. And all the players were just moaning about how I was treating him all the time and I just didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> As you can see from the time he was playing, so yeah. I just don't know. So I thought, right, well, you're getting on my nerves now, son. You can go then. So I let him go. <laughs> well, there he is, 38 million pound. That's quite a lot of money in the door for Ajax. Yeah. There was another 50 million pound on the outs. 25 million pound was for Borno Sosa against Al Halal in Saudi Arabia. I'm yeah. quite surprised by that, but at the same time, you were playing the, the other left back a lot more who got you a lot more assists yeah so and they were makes sense to get rid of him they were coming in with silly money as well they're offering as well sometimes and a few people have been commenting on our comments and they that, that if you hang out for more money they, they they do come back with more money but um at that time i didn't know that so each time they were just coming in with a big figure i was just going yeah yeah <laughs> <kidding." laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know to negotiate a little bit more, but yeah. that's still a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, and he's on 625k per week. Yeah. He is not a 625k per week player. No. Uh, so good for him. Yeah. Getting all that money, but there we go. Borno Souza has left the club. Who have you brought in? There's loads of squad players that have left that we're not going to cover all of them. Who have you brought in? As you can see, there's loads of players that have gone out, which accumulated 46.5 million pound. But the signings in. Free transfer, Ruben well, Neves. This is where I, I, I really studied it now and I thought, right, let's get some good players in. I've got a good bit of money in there and let's get some good ones in. And this guy come up for free. And I, and I know he was 30, but I mean, you just don't turn this guy down when, when you... Not for free, no. no. Uh, he's on high wages for Ajax. Yeah, it, it was... That was one of my sort of like, oh, do I go for it or don't I? And when I looked at his wages, but I thought, I'll try it and see what happens. And, and I got him and, and we paid the wages, so... yeah. I mean, I just look at it for defensive midfield. What a player to have in sat in there. He wasn't playing a defensive midfield last season, <laughs> so maybe he's changed the tactic. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Other players on the ends: Manu Kone, yeah. sixty-five million pound, Dad. This just strengthens my midfield up again, doesn't it? You know, the, just in front of him, so an attacking sort of midfielder. Yeah, yeah is he is player. like an N'Golo Kante yeah. type of player, and he's an unbelievable Twen ball winner with good aggression. So you play yeah. higher up the pitch because he is class going yeah. forward. Yeah, I mean, 25, so young player ago. I've still got good five, six, seven seasons out of him easily. Yeah, one of the best midfielders on the game. And the wage was quite low, 83. Yeah. Well, I was happy with that. Cost you 65. <laughs> uh, your final signing, though, was Tete from Galatasaray, uh, a player that I was familiar with from our rebuild. £31 million pound for this yeah. winger, but he is decent. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about the, the guy that um, I rushed by from last season. Yeah. This is the guy that replaces him, I think. He is a better player, so this is a good signing, I think, right. for that position. 
position. You spent a little bit more money on him yeah. than you did with Barr, but 27, he is, I would say, probably a better player for sure. Yeah. Uh, and he's Brazilian. We like, we like our Brazilians, Brazilian. yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, tactic then. Did he change it? You actually did. Yeah. Smart. Well, the three, three players in midfield should be my three new players. Yeah. Um, my, my, my right winger is, is the uh, the new guy. And I tweeted around with the uh, defence. Fullback, yeah. Fullback on automatic now, so that depends on whether you're positive, negative, etc. Yeah. Uh, to ball playing defenders, which I prefer using. Uh, your, I like the midfield three. I'm, I never really use a advanced playmaker, but I know how much you love that. Yeah. If it was me personally, I would maybe make that a box to box or a set midfield on attack, but I'm not against this at all. A lot of people don't like two playmakers in there. I think that's a lot of crux. I've used tactics where I've actually had eight playmakers just to prove a point, yeah. and it's worked. <laughs> Complete wing back because that's where you were getting a lot of attacks last season. Yeah. Inside forward, left. All right, inverted winger on the right. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I like that you're you're changing from last season for yeah. sure because that wasn't going to work. Well, I had to Europe. really, didn't I? I had, yeah. to, I had to change that, yeah. Okay, let's simulate it then. Fourth season, how does this tactic come on. instead? Fourth season, champions again by a point. Hey, they've done me by a point. I've just done them by a point as exactly. well. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm pleased for you. You've pulled it back, 82 points. Uh, they had a worse season. And you beat them twice, so you were the main crux of that. That's that's what won me the league. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They scored more goals. They also conceded less. But you had better results, Dad. You only lost four games there. Uh, PSV was the big one there yeah. at home, which is disappointing. Oh, obviously. definitely, that's, yeah. That's a bit of a rivalry, of course. Yeah. Who finished in third, still 10 points behind second place. So they're not quite catching you yet. But that's a great time for you. Jonas win 26 goals. Again, like some random guy that I've never heard no. of. I mean... Okay, 6-6, six, six, <laughs> yeah. 16, head in, 20, jump and reach. I'd be seeing how much he's worth. And 3.2, I'd be buying him just so that he did do that next <laughs> yeah. season. Uh, but there we go. Shaquille Van Persie, again, he's yeah. been in some unbelievable seasons. He played only eight games that time. Oh, he's moved to Arsenal. Oh, so he's a oh, yeah. January. He had to follow his dad, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's quite nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I can't wait till he moves to Manchester United and wins the league. Yeah. <laughs> That was uh, that was the first season he played without getting injured, didn't it? Yeah, it was. Man, Man United. Manu Kone got a high average rating, Dad. That's exactly what you bought him for. And yeah. Tete got a lot of assists. Again, what you bought him for. Yeah. It looks like final change their goalkeeper again, but he is also keeping clean sheets. I tell you what, I've never even seen this guy, but like, I would just be studying the the keepers that Feyenoord would sign and be yeah. like, let's put them down. And just yeah, definitely. Yeah. Restas has been getting better. Come so second. That's a good yeah. yeah, got second most clean sheets with twelve. Overall, good season. But was it a great season? Let's have a look at the competitions. No. Semi-final. Final again. Uh, That's unfortunate. So, 3-0 against AZ Alkmaar. You got probably, honked in the semi. Yeah. The final going on to win it. Yeah, they yeah, did. Yeah, it did, yeah. I couldn't stop them from winning the cup. Yeah, their stadium. They're, they're loving it, aren't they? Yeah. So, you were knocked out of the Champions League at the start of the season. Yeah. For technical reasons, by the way, that's the reason why we're not showing the schedule at the start. Remember, this is Dad's first rebuild, so we'll get better at these. Yeah. Don't you worry. <laughs> Round of 16 by Aston Villa in the Europa League is as far as you got. That's a tricky one. Yeah. 8-3. They beat you 6-0 in the second leg. That's an absolute... When I looked at the teams that was in there and I thought, I'll come up against Aston Villa, I just couldn't believe my luck. I thought, oh, why yeah, Villa, you know? Good yeah. on this. Yeah. Uh, but that's... you got chin oh, got. in that second leg. That's unbelievable. Disgraceful it was. Yeah, that is... <laughs> that is a disgrace. Did they go on and win it? No, Galatasaray went on and won it. Oh, Sick. <laughs> sick. Uh, very much like real life, that is. Yeah. <laughs> Not great season, but it's great I, that you've won the I league. think it was a great season because we were talking about Fine Ord, weren't they? How good they were coming and becoming. I mean, they won, they won the double last season. Yeah. They won the cup again. I stopped them by beating them twice. Yeah. That's what I had to do to win the league, and I've done it. So I think, me personally, I think that was a good season. I, okay. bought, I brought in a good couple of players, and it done, won the league for me. Their key player now is Anthony. He's an ex Arsenal. I, I, I did see that transfer going through, and yeah. I thought, I can't believe they signed him. Yeah. I, I'm I was disappointed I didn't see him available. Yeah. <laughs> they still got. Jimenez, they got Emil Smith role. They have signed some great players, uh, so they are yeah. getting better as well. Definitely, that's yeah. That's the thing, because uh, they're keeping hold of a lot of them, like Quentin Timber, although he is wanted. So Santiago Jimenez is unreal now at age 26. you got to hope somebody big comes in and buys him. Yeah. So that, uh, that fifth and final season where you have got 
23 million, but a very good wage budget to see what you can do with. Uh, your goals, though, Jonas Wynn got you 34, so good I think sign, that's a that, good sign. Yeah, definitely, yeah. But this, I think, is even better. Oh, from 21 midfielder. goals from midfield. What a signing that was, eh? Unbelievable. Great that, that, amount that, of that one signing probably won me the league. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for Gunnar Torres, he played exceptionally well as well. 19 yeah. assists, 16 assists from Kenneth Taylor. That's another centre mid yeah. who's done really well. He so, kept on getting into the into the team. You know, he's, he played 55 games there. Yeah, though. he's quality. So he was, knocking, he was knocking out the other the midfielders I bought in. Yeah, yeah, Ruben Neves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Ruben Neves still played 55 games, 10, go 10 goals, 17 assists. What I think you've... you've done really well I mean Vanden Boomer hasn't played a lot compared to what he was last yeah. season which is obviously a shame but at the same time he's already won as well yeah. yeah what I think is quite impressive is the amount of players who've played over 50 which means you've avoided a lot of injuries yeah. I would say yeah with, I think I was lucky there yeah players yeah because uh, there's been like three or four players who have played 55 games yeah. which I'm guessing might be every single game if not Probably, every yeah. single one but one yeah. uh, so that's quite impressive very impressive but what can you do with this 23 million pound we need a domestic double or something like that because you've only got one each season and one yeah. we missed out so we need a I've big, only had one bad season final. though haven't I really yeah we only had one bad season Let's have a look. and I've put that down to tactics yeah that third, that third season tactic was, yeah. was, was atrocious That's, yeah it was yeah. <laughs> okay fifth and final season let's take a look no I'm quite surprised you saw Devon Wrench at Al Shabab yeah I didn't play that much no. last season that was the thing when I, I bought it in that over right back then I need played yeah. so um, you didn't develop as much as what he no. usually would I was uh, offered I've, I've offered a good bit of money so I thought yeah, like 13 .5 yeah 13.5 I was happy with that so same as your Hato yeah never play I mean I was open to keep this player because he is a very young player and but he just didn't develop into anything for me really no and I wasn't using him so he was sorry, gone mate. you're gone yeah and there was other players that obviously you can see have gone there as well as £24 million on this side. So Mansvet's gone for £10 million. Dudeman, who I don't know if I've ever, ever, ever heard of. Yeah, there's a few players on the, on the brink that just weren't getting in the team. So Backup I just got goalkeeper's it. gone again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but let's have a look at who he brought in. Starting off with a few free transfers. John Duran, yeah. free transfer from Aston Villa. we just seen them knock you out. So you went and signed one of their best players. Is he free. another young player? I was thinking of the future, really. I mean, finishing 16, first striker, that's really good. So I thought, yeah, I'll bring him in. Then we've got Matthias Cunha from Wolves. Again, yeah. really good free, I mean, free signing. His finishing is just lethal, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, he plays in the other positions as well. So he's a little bit of a sport player for me as well. So yeah. it's just in case I get any injuries. I've got a, a really good replacement there, really. And I feel yeah. like striker's role. Matteo Lovato on a free transfer. Good centre-back to bring in. Yeah. Obviously, you just got rid of just, two centre-backs. Yeah, so, so it was obvious to get one back in again, just yeah, in case. and that's I mean, wise and that's a better signing. Yeah. So that's a good signing, in my opinion. Uh, I've never heard of this, man. It's a new gen. No, this... Hello? This, I think I signed this guy on the last day of the season, I think it was, the transfer window. No, it wasn't one of my scouts found this guy. I'm sure my, my scout found this guy for me. And it popped up and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, aggression 19, anticipation 15, bravery 15, composure 16. I'm thinking, I'm seeing an, an experienced player here and his physicals is, is really good as well for this age. And then I looked across and I thought, he's only 20 years of age. My God, I've got a... I've got a star here in the making. So I signed him. I'm really impressed with that. And it only cost you 925k. I was. That's outrageous. <laughs> they were giving him to me. Yeah. <laughs> they were giving him to me. That is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, then you spent some money. Let's yeah. have a look. David, sorry, we know he's going to be your backup goalkeeper, although he could be starting. Well, that's, he is good. To be that fair. was the he's thing. I've brought him in, and, it, and it's all right. You two fought it out between you two then. So yeah, he, he is, is good, isn't he? Then your final signing, 32 up to 38 million pounds. So this is your signature signing of the summer, really. Yeah. Hugo. Vettlerson, he is a centre midfielder. You like a lot of centre midfielders in yeah. your side, but he has great mentals. Yeah, what I think I was just thinking? bringing in, I was just bringing in players, um, just to case of injuries. Like you said in the in, in the the last bit there, I got away with injuries, mm. and I could see that as well. Like you said. That it looked like they played every game. Yeah, that's very rare in this game that your players play every game, really. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, if I get any injuries, that that could come back and bite me. Yeah. So I just sort of put another one in there. That's a nice, big, strong player there. That's what I've done it for. I agree. Well, it is the fifth and final season. So you really, did. when you look at it, I have built a good young squad here. I yeah. think for the for the patrons to take over. Really. Yeah. So anybody wants to take this over, I think you got a, a really good forward line and a really good defence line and a solid midfield. Well, let's see. I couldn't see. do let's, no more. Let's see how they perform season five All right, before yeah. we go <laughs> claiming that they're the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, you won the league last year. Did you change the tactic? <laughs> yes, he changed only, the tactic. Only slightly, only slightly, <laughs> brought a player in. Yeah. Um, 
because of the players. Yeah, outside of that, there's no other changes. No, because of the players that I've actually signed, that was probably going to be a very strong position for me, rather than being out in a winger. It, it gave me that sort of an attacking midfielder, that, and so an, a, almost a, a shadow striker, really, wasn't it? I had a few players who played that position who were very good. So I just brought him in a little bit and that's what I went for. I'll let you off because it is just a minor change. <laughs> the comments might not let you off and that's down to you. That all depends how I do, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm, more, I'm praying. <laughs> praying right. It doesn't bugger me up. Season five. Let's find out and simulate this final season and see how dad's done. And yes. <laughs> By a point again. Get in. All right. I <laughs> uh, tip my only, hat to you. Only lost three this time. Yeah. Three <laughs> lead titles in five years. Uh, only lost three. 83 points by a point again. Oh. So it looks like you won at the end of the season. Yeah. Uh, or you won it a cup by comfortably and just kind of like threw away the last few games. Final PSG. Did lose against them as well. Uh, yeah. Five draws. And you must have beat them. You did. Yeah. Uh, two nil. It's a good performance. Very good performance. Because as we say, that final team is is great. Yeah. Two of the top scorers in front of Santiago Jimenez. So Mateus Cunha comes in. Yeah, he's he's obviously very good in that attacking midfielder role. So he's yeah. probably played there. I've noticed that be very good for goals this year. Yeah. That attacking midfielder. Find out. Unbelievable season from him. Kenneth Taylor, Manu Kone with 16 and 15 assists. That's impressive. So I just took that top row completely. Yeah. Absolutely. And clean sheets. 18 of them from Restas. Hey. That's very good. When you think I sold a hundred million pound goalkeeper and I still had a goalkeeper like that. Yeah, yeah. Did you win any cups though? Come on. That's the question. No. You did a lot better in the Champions League. Yeah. Uh, we'll look at that first. Knockout playoff round. Unfortunately, you come up against AC Milan, which is going to be very difficult. Yeah. You could have been, I mean, you could have had Galatasaray, they, they, they Celtic. Tank, they tanked me as well. I mean, when you look at it, I beat them one game. 2, two nil. nil. I thought I was in. Oh, you only just scraped in. Yeah. <laughs> only just scraped. Two wins against Sociedad and Porto. Two draws against Nice and Bruges, and you lost four. It's unfortunate you only lose into Bayern Munich one nil away. Yeah. But the uh, the Hoffenheim at home one was was a big loss there. But yeah, that, that's unfortunate coming up against AC Milan when you could have got the likes of Galatasaray or Celtic or somebody like that. Yeah. This is a shame. I know. That is a shame. And they, oh, uh, they, they whipped dumb, you. They've done me a treat, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they, they absolutely whipped you there. If I won that game, I think I'd have won the double. Yeah, I, I agree. Joe Rago seems yeah. to be their, their best player, to be fair. He's, he, he's, he's phenomenal. 22 I mean, it's the worst. It's the worst game to lose in its semi-final. Yeah, because you, you know, didn't even get to go yeah. to the final. But that, that's a shame. They probably, let's have a look and see if they went on and actually won the whole thing because they faced FC Eindhoven in the final. They did 1-0. So good on FC Eindhoven getting yeah. there because that's, you know, that's, quite, that's quite big for them. But overall, I mean, that's what? Three league titles, one cup? Yeah. Is it just the one cup? I can't remember. Yeah, one, what, one what cup or one. Yeah. yeah, one. Just the one, one cup, cup, yeah. I don't think that's a bad season. Oh, um, that's a bad rebuild, Dad. For your I'm first a, ever one. I'm pleased with that. Yeah. When you think the team that I took over was a very young side, like I said at the beginning, and um, I brought in a couple of experienced players and, and then changed it around for them. Yeah. All right, this is your best 11, as you can see here. So, Mateus, Cunha and Torres. It could be Mateus. Can you down here and have uh, Jonas Wind up front, yeah. depending on how you wanted it? Uh, I must admit, I'm surprised by that advanced playmaker role. That did very well for you because Manu Kone has had two unbelievable seasons in that role. Yeah. 13 goals and 15 assists in the last two seasons. That's exceptional. Yeah, that's very good. Patreon members, channel members, take on Dad's save. Take on yeah. this rebuild. Take it on and see how on you can do. Five pound tier. Let us know how you do. Not to mention, we also have. The podcast that we do every single week yeah. on there. We have a bit of fun on that, don't we? Well. A bit yeah. of fun, yeah. We're going to be adding a few different types of videos on there as well. We're going to be uh, doing like our top five strikers, our team of the weeks, so our team of the season so far. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do that as an additional videos for you guys on the channel members or on the podcast, so on the, on the Patreon. So if you want to have that to listen to, we do it audio only or video on Patreon, and it's a video on, uh, on YouTube, then you can sign up using the join button on YouTube or going to patreon.com forward slash Omega Luke Gaming and signing up there. And also in the description, you can see the link to buy the game, the FM24, if you haven't purchased it yet, using my link. And if you use my link directly, I get a bit of cut of that as well. And if you use code Omega, you get discount too. So that'd be great if you can use that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please just push the button. Yeah, I mean, we're, as we're We are really this, close. We're really we're close to me. a thousand away. Yeah. We are so close. So come on, anybody who hasn't subscribed yet, just push a button, don't cost nothing. Just push that button for us, please. Come on. Yeah. And if you want to see Dad do more rebuilds, of course, let us know in the comments what team do you think Dad should be rebuilding. Of course, we've got the Versus rebuild. That's going to be coming out every other week. And then the weeks 
outside of those two, one will be filled by me doing a rebuild, one will be filled by Dad doing a rebuild, and we're also going to do things where like Dad takes on the sip season and stuff like that as one-off videos now that he is getting used to and playing the game a lot more, so uh, a lot more videos like that because we know you guys really enjoy it. Thank you very much for supporting. Yeah, thank you. Why not Come check out on. this video right here because we did a versus rebuild to start off. If you haven't seen it yet, you've got it. It's really good. <laughs>